Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Open Potato. This is Project Hospital with the brand new Infectious Diseases DLC installed. That's right. And can I be honest? I think in the Infectious Diseases department, we're actually doing pretty darn, pretty darn well, actually. Uh, I'm really, really happy with the department that we've got. Uh, the only thing that is perhaps a little bit of an issue is that we don't actually have, uh, we don't actually have another diagnostic unit, and I'm almost certain that we're going to need to get another diagnostic in the Infectious Diseases area. But apart from that, apart from that, everything is looking pretty darn good, to be honest. Uh, and I do even have a little, uh, a little idea about how we're going to go about uh, fixing that whole diagnostic, uh, that diagnostic department. It's a high workload during the day and during the night. So yeah, we'll probably get that fixed at some point. Anyway, the last episode went very, very well. Very, very happy with the way that it went. Uh, the good news is, is that I now think that we should be maxing out our prestige pretty much every day. Uh, we'll see what the result of that is at the close of play today, but we, we got 77% prestige yesterday, as you can see on screen right this second, uh, and I would I would anticipate that we're going to blow past that today, so that's going to be, that's going to be real good. The reason that we're going to go, uh, we're going to go far past that is because I finally got up to, uh, got up to the, to the tippity top of the hospital and installed a lounge. Every single department has now got, what the heck is going on with that elevator? Uh, every department has now got a lounge, which is, which is grand, just means that the staff can chill out. Something else that I want to get straight off the bat as well, brilliant, it's just, uh, it's just coming up to morning, that is cool. Um, something else that we want to get sorted straight away is, is a, did I, wait, did I say lounge? I meant common room, that's, that's a common room. Every, everywhere has got a common room, however, nowhere has a lounge, and I want to make sure that everywhere has a lounge. Comprende, okay, the emergency department doesn't have a lounge. Medical labs, radiology, presumably, do not have a lounge either. ICU, presume that the ICU doesn't have a lounge, but every other sort of department, every other specialized department, presumably has got a lounge, which is a place where visitors can meet hospitalized uh, patients and meet and chill and discuss and have a coffee or something along those lines. So yeah, I think every every single department could do with uh, could do with a little bit of a lounge. You know, just just to help the patients, just relax. And, you know, help them with their recovery. That sounds, that sounds entirely reasonable to me. Uh, let's also briefly chat about our insurance objectives, shall we? So we got a huge number of insurance objectives. We are still trying to achieve the, uh, the shareholder's mission of treating 1,500 patients. I have no idea where we can get that stat. Uh, I don't know, I don't even know if it's anywhere. I don't even know if it's anywhere... I don't know if it, I, I, I have no idea. I have no idea where we would find that. Maybe here? Patients treated. Ah, there we go. Treated. 1,397. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. So we're probably going to hit that. We're probably going to hit that either today, tomorrow, the day after. Either way, we're going to be completing that shareholder objective, which gives us access to, you know, to people who pay big, 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 big money. Even bigger money than we're currently receiving. And we're currently receiving rather big money. Uh, what else do we want to try and hit? I mean, honestly, getting additional ambulances, maybe not the craziest idea in the world, because purchasing two ambulances, that would give us more patients from the Progressive Insurance Company, and also if we purchase five, then that would give us quick snap care, uh, which also pays the rate of 100%. So, yeah. Either way, that is sort of for later. The first priority, as I've already highlighted, is lounges. So, let's head up to the first floor here, and we'll see if we can throw in the lounge prefab for the general surgery department. What is the size? What is the size of the lounge? It's an irritatingly pesky size, actually. Yeah, um... What do I what do I want to do? Where do I want to stick it? I mean, I don't love the fact that it's over there, but I mean, I guess it's better than nowhere. We could also stick it down over here. I feel like this needs to be where we have another operating room, though. That's not a bad place, actually. That's not a bad place at all. Let's go for it. Also, I just got an achievement. What did I get an achievement for? Rotate an object four times before placing it. See, I like games that have got quirky little achievements like that. You know, that don't lead to... That don't lead to, you know, the game being changed in a massive way. But, uh, you know, just from doing quirky little stuff. Right, I think we'll just follow up with another... 
lounge over here. This is, of course, for the internal medicine department. We're now out of money, but we're probably going to be able to treat another couple of patients in the next wee while and uh, and get back into positive cash territory. Uh, we made a ludicrously large amount of money yesterday, which is great, and I'm hoping that we're going to make uh, just about as much money today. The infectious diseases department, look at that, 15 grand, 15 whole grand of profit. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that is, that is monstrous. Looks like, looks like my wish has just come true. We have, uh, we have reached back into positive cash flow territory. We got loads and loads of cash. Uh, it's worth noting, by the way, that these lounges cost hardly anything. Yeah, these lounges cost, uh, cost hardly anything. Yep, that's looking really, really good. I have no idea, by the way, what these do. I don't think I've ever built a lounge in the, how many hours have I played this game for? I've played this game for 54 hours, and I've never, ever, ever zoned a lounge. Can you believe that? That does sound pretty crazy in hindsight, actually. Not enough stretchers at cardiology. Don't even worry about it. I'm actually in cardiology right now. This might be a good opportunity. Might be a good opportunity to fix that, eh? Yeah, throw in a couple of stretchers there. One, two, three. Sure, what the heck. And then we will go into the prefab. We'll go into here. We'll go into cardiology. And we will grab ourselves a lounge. Now, I know what you're thinking. Potato, wow, you have done so much building in this episode already. Is that it? Is that it for this episode? No, 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 no. I'm very, very much hoping that we can get perhaps not a neurology department. A neurology department would cost us a pretty penny. Um, and that would... <laughs> neurology department is another full department. And we know from experience... We know from experience that... Uh, just as I build this lounge, if indeed that's a thing that we can do, maybe the... Yeah, okay, it looks like the uh, infectious diseases area doesn't have a lounge. I guess that's probably for the best, contagious diseases and all that. Uh, yeah, you know, we know from past experience that bringing a fully-fledged department online roundabout costs, costs about a thousand grand. A thousand grand? No, a hundred thousand dollars. That's how much it costs. Also, how have I had no collapsed patients today? What the heck is happening? This is very, very strange. Do I just have, like, no patients? Is that what I have? Is that is that the problem? Are we just... I have, I have no idea what's happening. No idea what's happening. No idea what's happening whatsoever. Um, if we get if we get to the end of the day and we've still not had any issues, I think I'm just going to buy another ambulance. Anyway, cost about $100,000 to get a neurology department up online, or it will cost about that much, given that it costs that much to get the cardiology and the orthopedics department up online. So what I'm thinking is, why don't we see if we can go for something a little bit more sinister? A pathology department. That's right, a pathology department. A juicy, juicy, juicy department where we diagnose cases that have gone wrong. Look at that prestige, by the way. 91%. 91% prestige. Everywhere but the intensive care unit, to be honest, is is looking good. Why is the intensive care unit not, uh, not super duper happy with me? Let me just have a little look. We do have a couple of we do have a couple of depressed members of staff. I will say that having a depressed member of staff is problematic to say the least. Problematic to say the least for prestige. But that's okay. 71 treated yesterday, 56 treated today. We're not going to get ourselves we're not going to get ourselves above this figure. I'm going to pay back. I'm going to pay back some more uh, some more debt then. That sounds that sounds great. 96% prestige. Now, of course, there is going to be the night shift that comes online in just a second. It's going to end in, what, an hour or so. And that's fine. Monitored patient is collapsing. You're collapsing, and presumably you'll be fine. I hope you'll be fine anyway. Let's get you Let's get you out of here as quickly as we possibly can. I don't want anyone to die. I need to make sure that we, that we don't have anyone that dies. Uh, the trauma center, I believe, is, is completely free, though. There we go. Let's get you fixed right up. Get you fixed right up. You did have heart failure, but that has been suppressed, I believe. Undergoing stabilization? Yeah, let's get you stabilized. Excellent. Okay, so, so far, so good. Nothing, nothing untoward has occurred. Now, one thing that we do need to consider, one thing that we do need to consider is that I do want to get a second ambulance. I very, very much want to do that because that is going to fulfill the progressive, uh, the progressive thing. Increase ambulance patients per day to four. How many patients are we getting at the moment? We're actually getting five per day, which is which is quite a lot, quite a lot. But whatever. Apparently, we're gonna take it up to four. I suspect that that is some sort of a, a mod conflict there, but that eh, doesn't really particularly matter. Anyway, ambulances cost thirty-five thousand dollars a pop, so it's gonna be a big, big expensive one. But it's mostly just to try and advance 
It's mostly just to try and advance the uh, the insurance objective because we want to continually refresh these, or at least refresh them as, as often as we possibly can. Right, so, so far, no dead patients. Touch wood that that continues. Excellent. You got diagnosed incorrectly. I have no idea. I have no idea what that is. Absolutely no idea what that is. Absolutely no idea what that is at all. Okay, so prestige is is already at 75%. I would be very, very surprised if we didn't blow past that and get up to like 95% or something. Something along those lines. That would be really what I'm what I'm after. The reason that I want uh, high prestige, by the way, is that not only is my patient intake increased, you're, you're sort of penalized patients if you don't have a high level of prestige. I think it's like 95% prestige or something that you need in order to get 100% patients, 100% uh, patient intake. Anyway, patient is collapsing. Why has everyone suddenly decided to collapse? Long wait for examination? I don't care. I don't care. That's fine. You've definitely got you've definitely got a bone issue. Right, fine. And uh, we got you, you two that are collapsing. I'm just gonna assume that we're gonna be fine. I'm just gonna assume that we're gonna be fine. It'll be it'll be a okay. Who the heck left? Who the heck left? Okay, well at least that doesn't that doesn't count. Presumably it was a presumably it was a test result that you were waiting on. I've got to assume that it was a test result you were waiting on. Patient is leaving. Yeah, I'm like 90% sure that that was a test result uh, that you were waiting on. That's fine. I know, by the way, that we are $65,000 in the hole, but, you know, frankly, not a big deal. Not even slightly concerning to me. Hey, 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 look at that. What do we, what do we unlock? Okay, first of all, uh, objective for insurance company has been completed. Have no dead patients, lost cases for two days. It's a Christmas miracle. Now, that is just... That is just cheapo care. And cheapo care, I don't really care about, to be brutally honest, but that's fine. Reach 85% prestige uh, at the end of the day. 50,000 government grant. Excellent. Patient numbers are back to normal. Totally fine. I think there was a negative modifier in place yesterday. Anyway, look at this. Yesterday, we had 90% prestige, which is really, really good. Patient intake is actually set at 105%. I believe if we can take our... I believe if we can take our prestige up to like 95%, then we will manage to increase our insurance payments to about 120%, which would be really, really, really good. Yeah, I'd like that a lot. I would very, very much like that. Uh, patient numbers, what are we What are we at? Okay, 1,459 patients treated. That ain't too bad at all. Uh, I'm absolutely happy with that. And at the end of play today, then we will complete the other insurance objective that we're after, the shareholders one, which I was, uh, which I was chatting about. I suspect that we actually made money yesterday. Yeah, we made 10 grand yesterday. That is a very, very respectable amount. A patient is about to leave the clinic. Why on earth are you about to leave the clinic? Ah, you're getting you're getting an examination done. Okay, cool. You you can go you can go and get uh, get seen to pretty much immediately. Save a patient after a collapse. Next intern available for hire will be a great candidate. Fine. I mean these these insurance companies I don't actually have active at this moment in time. Have no dead patients lost cases for three days. Fine, that's that's okay. But to be honest, we don't really need patient numbers. We just need we just need higher paying patients at this moment in time anyway. Monitored patient is collapsing. I'm sure you'll probably be fine. Where are you? Hospitalized collapsing. You're gonna undergo stabilization, I think. You've got two hidden symptoms that we don't actually know about at this moment in time. Oh no. <sighs> No, 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 no. <sighs> okay, so you see, here's the problem. Here is the problem. Is that one of the hidden symptoms, one of the hidden symptoms, well, actually, it was heart failure that led to, uh, that led to the patient collapsing. Are you, you are a doctor. You are a doctor, and yet you're just not able to just not able to save the patients. Oh man, that's so irritating. That's so irritating. I am actively irritated by that. Oh boy. And it had to... Uh, patient is about to leave the clinic. Pulmonary embolism. Are you waiting for what? What are you waiting for? You waiting for an ECG or are you waiting for a... an angio... an angiogram? You're fulfilling your needs and then you're presumably gonna head out somewhere. We do have a blinking, we do have a blinking symptom, which means that can cause collapse, and that is, of course, problematic, to say the least. But, but that's okay. I wonder if there was anything that we could have really done differently in the case of the, uh, 
of the chap who died in the uh, in the ICU there. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a toughie, you know. It's a bit of a toughie. Patient is collapsing. Yeah. Okay. Heart failure. Heart failure is likely to cause death if we can't if we can't get it under control. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Heart failure, heart failure. It's suppressed. Excellent. So I think that that means you might live, which is beautiful. Although, you're going to have to undergo stabilization again. I, I'm not hopeful. I'm not hopeful for you, I'm afraid. I'm not hopeful for you, I'm afraid there, Lisa Davis. Chest x-ray, you need a chest x-ray, Paul Cole. Yeah, okay. So x-ray machines just in general and also medical labs need a little bit of work. Uh, if I go into the radiology overlay, workload during the day and night is is high. CT scan is eh, it's uh, sorry the angiogram or sorry no this is the CAG machine. No idea what this is. Uh, yeah, so low and medium that's fine. Medium, medium, low and medium. I'm just having a look at the stats down here. By the way, this shows how busy the rooms actually are. Cardiography unit is like insanely busy, which is strange to be honest. Yeah, that's weird. I didn't really see... I didn't really see that being a huge issue. Performing ECG. I guess... I guess maybe we want to try and get some more... Some more stuff? It's literally... Yeah, wow. Okay, so I mean... I presume... I presume it's just radiology that is really the problem here. Now, that's a blessing and a curse, right? That's a blessing and a curse. What is critical? What is critical during the day? I presume it's the diagnostic department. Yeah. Right, so. There are there are advantages. There are advantages to this situation. So the good the good news is, the good news is patient returns to an incorrect diagnostic. Uh, no, fine, whatever. Patient is leaving. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Blessing and a curse, I was as I was saying. Patient got diagnosed incorrectly. Oh come on. Really? Is that is that really my fault? I feel like it's not. Anyway, as I was saying with radiology, it's a blessing and a curse when, you know, when we know the problem is is coming from the radiology department. The good news is, of course, it's, it's easy to fix. We know what we need to do. We just need to... How the heck? How the heck? How the heck is this happening? Wound closure. Right, you know what? This Okay, this is just absolutely obscenely ridiculous. I need to I need to boost certainty up to high in the emergency department because otherwise we're never ever 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 going to stop getting patients complaining that they've been uh, they've been mistreated. Hey, look at this. Insurance company can be contracted. Uh, insurance company shareholders can be contracted to send patients because that means that we have treated 1500 patients. Okay, shareholders, let's let's bring them. What do we need? Have $75,000 in your account and you get a 30 a 30,000 government grant for that. I mean, surely that's easy to do? Right? Hey, it's just, it's literally that simple. Okay, I doubt that the other insurance objectives are going to be that simple. What's the next one? Uh, reach 98% prestige at the end of the day. I mean, to be honest, that's doable. That's doable. The thing that you've got to bear in mind, the thing that you've got to bear in mind is that we will hopefully be able to unlock the... Uh, the events at some point. Now, the events, I believe, are unlocked by completing the in, uh, this quick snap care insurance tree. So once we get five ambulances, or have the ability to get five ambulances, I, I, I should say, uh, once we get the ability to get five ambulances, we should be able to unlock events, and events can give you events can give you uh, a prestige bonus. Not to mention the fact that we've now, you know, we've now just got naturally higher prestige for, you know the whole lounge thing and the uh, and also the the common room as well so so that's really really nice the one thing that i do worry about just a little bit is are we are we making are we making sure that the floors are clean enough i am concerned by this i am concerned by this the orthopedics department also is a little bit upset why are they upset dirty floor this is exactly the issue right this is exactly the issue is this the orthopedics department i think this is the orthopedics department yeah, so let's get a let's get a secondary janitor. There we go. I mean, just getting rid of this modifier, getting rid of the dirty floor modifier is like one of the easiest ways that we can go about just fixing the place up. 
So if we see... If we see... If we see any dirty floor modifiers anywhere, then we'll see if we can try and clean that up. Need critical, no. Depressed, no. Patient satisfaction did not get a gift. Did not get a gift. Okay, so nothing, nothing else really, nothing else really on that front. Cool. I just wanted to clarify. Also, the shareholders, they don't actually send any patients at this moment in time. I suspect that we'll have to, to beast mode through a couple more, uh, a couple more insurance objectives before we're able to get, uh, before we're able to get a little bit more, a little bit more cash from the shareholders. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, do I want the cash from the shareholders. You can bet your bottom dollar that I do. Okay, so that should improve prestige. We are at 95%. I mean, 98% prestige is it's a lot to it's a lot to try and hit, especially when we had a death earlier in the day, uh, which is not good. Oh no! Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. An infectious patient got hospitalized outside of an isolation unit, and as a result, part of your hospital got infected. Staff must now wear face masks. Okay, right. Certainty at high. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It has to be. Everywhere is getting bumped up to high. If you're not at high, then that's what we're going to do. I, I, I don't think that this game is, is, is playable if you don't have high certainty. So now there's been an outbreak of, of the Zika virus, apparently, which is, which is fun. Or Zika fever, I should say, which is highly contagious. Yeah, it's too late to be stuck into, too late to be stuck into isolation now, irritatingly. Well, you know, what can you do? Not very much as it turns out. That is a massive, massive hit to Prestige. Very, very irritatingly, actually. Very, very infected. Yeah, it's a massive negative, massive negative modifier. Uh, I'm also noticing that we do have a couple of staff who seem to be mean. Depressed mean staff. Uh, very, very problematic as, uh, as it turns out. Okay, so where does this leave us? Where does this leave us financially? I mean, we're not a bad place financially. Not at all. I mean, we are making so much freaking money, and it's it's kind of disgusting, actually. We are we are making a lot of money. And we mean we managed to pay off a couple of bank loans over the course of today. You know, I know we did get a, a little bit of a little bit of government grant money, but you know, it's all fine. Right. I want to bring on two departments in this episode. I've already chatted about the pathology department, and I also chatted about the uh, I also chatted about the... What was the other department? Another patient died? Okay, well, thank goodness. You presumably had a really serious condition. Okay, not good. Not good. Anyway, I've already talked about wanting to bring online the pathology department in this episode. In the last episode, I also chatted about how I wanted to bring online... Uh, the administrative department. The administrative department allows us to build a pharmacy and also allows us to build a gift shop and some like training facilities and stuff. So all of that stuff is what we're going to do. You can bet your bottom dollar that we're going to do that. I know where I want to make the pharmacy. I know where I want to make the gift shop. It's going to be in a typical... It's going to be in a typical nonsense place. There we go. Okay, but so far so good. Yeah, no, no real sort of like major issues. Patient is about to leave. How on earth have you not been... How on earth have you not been seen? You're waiting for an ECG? Okay, so this is what we're going to do. This is... This is like the... The first thing that we have to fix. This is the first thing that we have to fix. We need just like many, many, many more ECG uh, capable... Capable buildings, capable rooms. You get the... You get the picture. What was my prestige yesterday? Oh, boy boy. Yesterday it was 53%. Oh, oh man, that sucks. That sucks pretty hard, actually. So that's going to reduce our, our number of patients. I feel like I should probably bring on some extra insurance contractors just for this, or ins contract some additional insurance companies just for today. We'll bring Cheapo Care in. We'll bring... We'll bring Medicare in. And we'll bring uninsured in? Sure. Let's let's go for it. Let's go for it. Have profit for five days in a row? That'll be the day. That will be the day. I look forward to that day occurring. Okay, everyone's leveling up for some obscene reason, and I'm not entirely sure why. But that is that is fine. Did I 
I mean, I tell you what, I'm not actually far off. If I if I was a little bit more sort of strict with myself, I could probably I could probably be profitable fairly easily in five days. It would just mean it would just mean that I'd have to to keep a close eye on my spending. But uh, but I mean that's not exactly not exactly the worst thing in the world. To be honest, the difficulty is is getting is having no untreated patients for five days. That's the real pain in the backside, right? That is the real pain in the backside. Uh, also, janitors in the infectious diseases area. Can I get can I get a couple more of them? Because there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that I'm unhappy about. And by stuff, I mean there's no action happening over here. Is it because it's not allocated as a corridor? Very well, maybe because it's not allocated as a corridor. Yeah, there we go. Okay, the the fact that it wasn't allocated as a corridor was hidden by the fact that uh, that you need to wear a mask in this vicinity. So that should uh, that should fix that right up. Okay, right. We've built a brand new floor on the top. That is going to be for the that is going to be for the neurology department. The neurology department is going to go on this empty floor here. We're actually going to build another floor. Yep. Okay. So add a brand new floor. Yep. Okay. Cool. This one, this one is going to be for pathology. I think this one is going to be for pathology. Now, we're not going to need anywhere near, we're not going to need anywhere near the entirety of this floor. In fact, it's my intention just to use these buildings over here, or these walls, these structures. Uh, that, to me, sounds entirely reasonable. By the way, I'm going to wait until the end of the day. I'm going to wait until the, well, I say the end of the day, the start of the day. Wait until the start of the day, right? And then wait until 8 o'clock comes around, because we all know that at 8 o'clock, everyone, uh, everyone just magically gets better in the hospital. So we're going to go from minus 45 thousand dollars all the way up to in a magical turn of events okay 14 15 almost twenty thousand dollars basically almost twenty thousand dollars of uh, of income there yeah that ain't that ain't too bad at all okay so that means that we still have to take out two loans but that's okay yeah that's that's not too bad not too bad at all all right take out two loans and then let's see what we can do now Pathology, pathology, pathology. We want to be on the top floor. I think, is this the maximum number of floors that I can have? I don't think so. I think I can have nine floors. I think I've got, uh, I think I've got a mod that allows me to increase to, to nine floors. Right, so pathology department is actually fairly easy. There is no clinic. There's no clinical aspect. You can't, can't visit the pathology department if you're, if you're curious about, uh, about your death. No. On the contrary. So we need an autopsy room, a cold room, an on-call room, a nurse's station, and a cleaning closet. I mean, this is one of these things, right? It's like, I don't really want to build this stuff. But yet, I kind of have to be prepared to build it, right? Like, I I'd never want to use it, is, is, what I is what I'm trying to say. Is what I'm trying to write home about here. Right. So that goes in there. That costs us 10 grand. That's fine. So that's an autopsy room. A cold room. Crack open a cold one with the dead patients. Common room. We know where the common room is going to go. Common room is actually nice and easy. Right in there. Excellent. We'll just keep on We'll just keep on spending until we get this done, I think. Cleaning closet. Yeah, we can get the cleaning closet over here. Restroom. Restroom goes over there. I like the fact that we've got a consistent place for the restroom on, uh, on every floor. The on-call room, the on-call room, and the nurse's station. Now, I actually want to make this a reasonably small on-call room and a reasonably small nurse's station because I don't actually anticipate... I don't actually anticipate, as I've already said, like, a copious number of times. Prefab is blocked by another object. What object? What object? Am I missing something here? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything that I'm missing. Let me delete the walls just to see if that makes it any any easier. There we go. Okay. Delete the walls. Back to the prefab. What did I say? Nurse's station? Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Nurse's station right in there. Excellent. So that gives us a small nurse's station to work with, uh, a small doctor's room to work with. Excellent. That's pretty much all that we need. I think I'm actually going to hire the best of the best. I'm going to hire the best of the best to be the one and only doctor. And we're also only going to have one nurse during the day, one nurse during the night. It's literally that simple. It's literally that simple. I don't think that the nurse actually has to do anything. 
I don't think the nurse has to do anything at all other than sort of wheel the body up. I mean, it sounds awful to say, but it's uh, it's true. Also, people people were saying people were saying that I can I can like click on the the specialty that I'm after, which seems like a bit of a misnomer, but uh, but that's fine. Either way, when I'm hiring nurses, I was advised in the comments of the last video, thank you very much, that I can that I can do that. So we'll be experimenting with that as we go. Now, get this all allocated as a corridor, please, video game. Wonderful. Don't think anyone's going to need to come down here, so there's no point in in, uh, in in zoning that as a corridor. Yeah, this is fine. I tell you what, this is a good pathology department. There's a good chance that we could also use this top floor as a... Uh, as a sort of administrative training area. That's definitely something that we could do. I don't think that I want to bring the administration, uh, the administrative department online quite yet, given our precarious financial position, and also given that there is a, an epidemic ongoing. I'm a little bit miffed that there is an epidemic ongoing. Frankly, I've got nobody to blame but myself for the poor quality of care that I provide my patients. It's that simple. I mean... If you thought that I was going to blame somebody else, no. No, 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 no. I, I know that the, the buck stops with me. But that's okay. This is a hoachingly busy, a hoachingly busy uh, clinic in the emergency clinic. So that is, that is, that is, wow. That is, that's really busy. I, I don't think we've seen people standing around for a good long time, actually. Yeah, that's, that's kind of crazy. Either way, we've got plenty of doctors. We've got plenty of capacity, I think. I think we should be fine. Excuse me? Was somebody just moved who had an infectious disease into the... Oh, no. Patient is collapsing. We had a lot of patients that are collapsing. Keep on... Keep on going, please. Excellent. Good. Cardiovascular surgery. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. I love a good cardiovascular surgery. So far, so good. No untreated patients, no dead patients, nothing like that. We have a high level of certainty pretty much everywhere. Oh, yes, something which completely passed me by. Completely forgot, completely forgot that I was going to get some additional uh, cardiography rooms over here. Uh, where can I get some additional radiology cardiography rooms, actually? I do have space down here, but, I mean, space down here is not exactly... Not exactly enough uh, enough for a big old cardiography room. I honestly feel like I probably need to get two, right? A cardiography unit. Two cardiography units. I guess I could get one down here. Is that a bad idea? Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's a bad idea. It, it just looks a little bit lo looks a little bit naff, I think. Uh, what about on this floor? What about on this floor up here? Kind of don't like the idea of splitting up the radiology department. Uh, I, I've I've toyed with the idea of getting like a radiology department and an ICU on every level, and I think that that's probably what we'll eventually get to. But for now, I, I kind of like to cluster, kind of like to cluster the facilities together. Okay, well you know what, we don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. We have to put the radiology department, or we have to put the the cardiography unit somewhere else. So it's gonna go. It's going to go over here for now. And we're actually going to get two. Yeah. So that should take... That should take the usage of the uh, of the building. I keep saying building. Whenever I say building, please just internally, in your head, replace building with room. In the room... In the room, we are... Uh, we're going to build... We're going to build two rooms so that we don't have any capacity issues at all. Now, who's responsible for this corridor here? Is it a medical labs corridor? It is a medical labs corridor. Let's just keep it a medical labs corridor. That's totally fine. Uh, flip back to cardiography. Excellent. And we will hire technologists for the day. Technologists for the night. Technologists for the day. Technologists for the night. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So let's see if patients are allocated here. I mean, being able to conduct heart exams quicker pretty pretty important as it turns out you know heart conditions are are a pretty 
pretty quick a pretty quick way to the ICU and if uh, if we can't diagnose the 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 dead the deadly dangerous symptoms then that's a pretty it's a it's a pretty quick pretty quick uh, route to the pearly gates so you want to make sure you want to make sure that we're able to do all of the the heart examinations as quickly as possible patient is collapsing you've got malaria i mean come on we know that you've got malaria we know that you've got malaria Thank goodness malaria is not contagious. Otherwise, we'd be we'd be in a whole world of trouble. Something which is quite good though. Something which is quite good, which tells me that things are not as bad as they seem. A patient is about to leave the clinic. What are you waiting for? Have you is it just been busy? Has it just been busy up here? I think it might just have been quite busy up here. Yeah, I think it might straight up have just been a very, very busy day in the uh, in the world of internal medicine. Uh, you know, to be fair, that happens from time to time. I mean, it has been a slightly busier than normal day today. I've taken on a whole heap of extra insurance companies, so that's fine. Zero patients that have gone untreated thus far, and zero patients that have died. <laughs> very, very good. You're waiting. What are you waiting for? You're waiting for an ECG. Yeah, look, this is, this is, it's a bit of a pain in the backside, really, but we've got this massive backlog that we're trying to get through as quickly as we possibly can, right? Yeah. A clinic is about to leave the patient. A clinic is about to leave the patient. I keep saying that. I keep saying that and, and you guys were making fun of me in the uh, in in the comments. I appreciate that, to be honest. I, I find it quite endearing that I say that, so I'm gonna keep saying it. Also, I'm pretending like I can stop saying it, but I cannot stop saying the fact that a clinic has left the patient. It's uh, it's not possible for me. It's just, it's entered the cerebral cortex, and it's its just not budging. It's just not budging at all. Right. Monitored patient is collapsing. No big deal. No big deal at all. I mean, obviously, it's not ideal, but whatever. Yeah, so the pathology department is probably, hopefully, going to continue to make a loss. I mean, if it costs 850 bucks of upkeep a day, then that's fine. Uh, you are collapsing. You've got heart failure. And I will say... That is that is not good. Now this is a this is an example of where it would be great if we could get an ICU on each and every level, an ICU on each and every level just to make sure that if somebody does collapse, then it's reasonably easy for us to move them, uh, for us to move them there and get uh, and get them seen to rather quickly. But the fact that we have you know all of our ICU rooms on the bottom floor is fine. It's fine for now. How did you die? How did you die? I guess we're about to find out. Let's go for an autopsy. Transported to morgue. There's no waiting room at radiology? I don't believe it. Say it ain't so. Patient died? Yeah, I know. I know. Okay, so you're going to be transported to the morgue. Apparently, that's where the patients are transported anyway. Uh, the fact that we lost a patient here, it sucks. It sucks. It sucks a lot, actually. Emergency, 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 emergency. Let me have a little look at what's going on here. Yeah, on-call room in the emergency is, is critical, actually. I feel like we just need more doctors. I feel like we just need more doctors. We just need more nurses. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna splash out here. Yeah, I'm gonna splash out because it is pretty important to me that the point of ingress into the hospital for most people, especially if they're in ambulances, right, is is through the emergency department. So we need to make sure that we have a really, really, really good emergency department that is actually able to treat patients. Because at the moment, it's just not it's just not doing what I want it to do. And there we go. So this is going to increase our expenses, our outgoing our outgoing salaries uh, a lot. But we're going to have a full complement of doctors during the day and during the night as well. Okay, so you're being transported to the morgue up here, aren't you? Yep, you are. Excellent. So you're going up, 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 up to the top level, and then we've got a new patient of pathology. You can send the body to funeral services or, or perform autopsy to learn what went wrong. Uncover the remaining symptoms and gain experience points and money in the process. I'm interested in the money. Very interested in the money. So, I believe that the patient is automatically moved. Oh, wonderful. We did it. Uh, increased clinic patients per day to 45. Now, bear in mind, that is 
that is in Medicare, so I mean it's not exactly tons of tons of cash, but it's not terrible. How are we doing prestige-wise? 57% prestige is actually up from the miserable prestige of 53% yesterday. Everyone's still infected, so I mean that's why it's so trash. Uh, but you know, five stars at the pathology department, so we're doing we're doing great there. Uh, treat seventy-five patients for an eighty thousand government grant. That is that is very very juicy and very very achievable, I would say. Right. So we're not actually going to be able to do anything about the fact that we've got uh, a patient at the pathology department for now. That's going to have to be dealt with tomorrow, as we only have uh, as we only have. Uh, uh oh, collapsed patient is waiting for a bed. It's midnight. Whoops. Stop, 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 stop. All of your staff health has returned to normal. You survived the epidemic outbreak. You you bet I did. Right, you're waiting for a bed at the ICU. Hmm. I don't think... I don't think we're magically gonna find a bed. Traumatic cardiac arrest. I mean, look, I can't, I can't move anyone out of here. I really wish I could, but we're going to have to send... Well, it's going to be sent automatically. Yeah, collapsed patient is being transported to another hospital. That's what happens. That's what happens when you have a full ICU. I mean, there's frankly very, very little that we can do about that. Except, you know, spend a huge amount of money to... Uh, to get ourselves... To get ourselves a brand new ICU. Patient is about to leave the clinic. Look, this, this just highlights exactly why we shouldn't have all of these insurance companies... Uh, turned on. Medicare. Turn that off. Yeah, turn that right off. Okay, so that takes us down to 46 patients. Honestly, I think we need a, a, a relatively quiet day. Yeah, and bear in mind that that is only 64% of our patient intake, so it's very, very, very much capped. Fine. We've got almost every single bed full, including all of the ICU beds. Cardiography. Are you waiting for an ECG? No, you're not waiting for an ECG. You've got an irregular heartbeat, so... You... Oh, that has been detected by an ECG. To be honest, I mean, we could just stick you on beta blockers. But that's not actually going to treat the entirety of the problem. Uh, you're just going to have to... You're going to have to get high... You're going to have to get heart surgery, unfortunately. Well, fortunately for me, unfortunately for you, I'm interested in that. It's the money, mostly, that interests me. Anyway, let's get forward to the morning. I'm not really anticipating too many more disasters. A couple of people might be transported away. But that's fine. There's no free bed. There's no free bed in the in the cardiography unit. Let me have a little look. It's the next one up, isn't it? Yeah, we are straight up full. Every single HDU is is fully occupied. Um, you know what? I can take out a loan. I okay. This is the largest loan that I have that I have thus far thus far taken out. High dependency unit. Let's get it. Let's get it in here. I mean, look, we're gonna need this at some point, right? I'm just making excuses for the fact that I'm horrifically in debt. Did we make money yesterday? Not even close. Not even close. We did make money the day before, but that was... That was uh, that was a long time ago now. Patient has waited too long and is leaving. Yeah, look, this is... This is... This is the bad thing about having as many... As many patients as we do. It's just not good. It's just not good when this happens. Give me a corridor down here. Give me a corridor up here. Cool. Nice. Looking good. Looking real good. We don't want any dirty floors. No siree. A patient is about to leave the clinic. There's no trauma center hospitalization. There's no available waiting room at radiography. Oh, for goodness sake. Really? What are you talking about? There's plenty of waiting room at radiography. Okay. I, I don't understand why that's the case. Patient is collapsing. Patients are going to other hospitals. It's a it's a full scale it's a full scale evacuation of the orbital potato hospital here, but that's fine. Reaching ninety eight percent prestige at the end of today, it's entirely doable. But it involves involves pulling the finger out. It involves pulling the finger out and getting to work. Right. Let's hire like two more janitors. There we go. Two more janitors. Excellent. Get to work, please. Thank you very much. Doesn't cost us anything to hire new people, which is great. We're pretty much cash positive. You, Barbara Martinez, are going to get autopsied. Yep. Speaking of an autopsy, let's head up to the top floor. And let's see what the situation is over here. William Smith, you're actually waiting for an autopsy. Reserved for autopsy of William Smith. 
Uh, yeah, why is this taking such a long time? Getting a stretcher. Yeah, where are where are you exactly? Can you not just get a stretcher from your office? Ah, I see what the issue is. Okay, so the fact is that you're moving a stretcher to go and pick up the newly the newly dead body. If that makes sense, right? So you're gonna be moving the newly dead body all the way back up to the top floor. Which is fine, you know, fine, don't get me wrong. New patient of pathology. Yeah, we know. We know there's a new patient of pathology. You're going to get autopsied. Yeah, so the doctor has to wait for the nurse to get... Uh... Oh, look at that. That's gnarly. That is gnarly. The good news is, is that we get, uh, we get cash. We don't get much cash. Presumably, we get half price for solving the issue. Portal vein blockage. So that was it. That was what caused... That was, that was what caused death, I think. Oh no, it was septic shock. Septic shock. So CBC testing would have would have uh, identified that. Now, this makes me think. Is there perhaps an issue with our with our medical labs department? I mean, there is an issue, but the issue is that we just have too many patients coming coming into the hospital. It does take a very very long time to run all of the tests. Autopsy finished on William Smith. Oh, yeah. Dead body can be sent to the funeral services. Do we get money from sending it to the funeral services? I've, I've got to know, frankly. Right. So, I think... I think William Smith is behind this blanket. Excellent. Okay. So, we send him off. I know that we get 1,500 from the autopsy. So, that's fine. All right. And then we've got David Wright going to your workplace. You're going to head up there. Okay. So, as it turns out, we're going to make a... We're going to make a killing. Ha, <laughs> ha. <laughs> We're going to make a killing at the pathology department today, which is good, but also, you know, a bit yikes at the same time, because you never want to see your pathology department, like, actually being used, right? I mean, that's just not, it's just not what it's for. It's, it's for emergencies only. You never, you never really want to see it. Anyway, now that our now that our patient numbers have gone right down, we're in a much, 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 much more comfortable situation. Long wait for examination. A long wait for an autopsy. Really? Are you really complaining about that? Barbara Martinez? You're really complaining about that? Undergoing autopsy. How much money do we get from solving your problem? I say solving your problem. Yeah, we basically get half price. Uh, okay, that's good. So what ended up killing the patient? Was it this? Respiratory failure? With a quick physical examination, we could have determined... Determined that you were having respiratory failure. Uh, the fact that there is no waiting room within reach of the... There's no valid waiting rooms within reach of radiology rooms. Now, that might be partly because... That might be partly because we've got the secondary radiology uh, room on the first floor... Now, we can actually do something about this. Hold up. Hold up just a pee pick in minute. Now, if I go into here, if I go into waiting room, yeah, waiting room in the corridor. How about that? That is excellent. Boom. Okay, so it costs basically nothing. It costs basically nothing. It is zoned now as a radiology room, so the rest of that is a corridor. But it should mean that patients are able to wait really, really close by. I should point out, by the way, I should point out that this is part of the reason. This is part of the reason why I left all of the corridors uh, for white. Because the default the default prefab waiting room slash corridor is, is, for, is for tiles white. So we've got, you know, we've got some real... That's not even slightly close to, to what I was after. Uh, but, you know, we have some real options. We have some real options. I say we've got real options. We've got one option. We've got one option for a corridor if we want to if we want to throw that in at some point. You know, if, if in fact, we're uh, we're a little bit unhappy with the, the drab surroundings of the, the basic corridor. Of course, I don't want to undo all of my all of my hard work, all of my lovely lino flooring that's over here. How is everyone dying today? don't like that. I don't like that at all. Even with three deaths, I think, right? We've had three deaths today, if I'm not mistaken. Dead, dead. Actually, only two deaths. Actually, only two deaths today. Yeah, so even with two deaths, I mean, we are gonna, we are gonna massively smash our prestige 
from uh, from yesterday. But that's okay. Pay off our pay off our debt. New patient of pathology. Yeah, we know. Honestly, new patient of pathology. It needs to be. We need to get no notification about this. I'd rather just get notification about the about the patient death, and then after we have the autopsy. Died from SARS. Oh wow. Okay, that's not good. I mean, death by any by any kind is not good, but that is what it is, I guess. Autopsy finished, and we'll get notification about the autopsy being finished, and then we will send you off, because we have to do that manually. Yeah, so I'd like to I'd like to control that. Right. So how are we looking? How are we looking? We are in the in the red, in the red for the day, but that's okay. That's 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 not a problem. We're in the red in the short term, but we spent uh, we spent a little bit of cash on building. The fact that I'm able to maintain a loan of four hundred thousand dollars is frankly astounding to me. Under usual circumstances, most of the games that I play would be would be punishing me uh, a lot more a lot more brutally. That's not to say that I. Uh, Hey, look at that. That's nice. Uh, what, do, do we accept this department? We do accept progressive, don't we? Reach 5,000 daily profit at the internal medicine department? To be honest, it's probably doable. Very, very doable right now. Uh, yeah, we've reached it on a couple of days. Yeah, we've, we've had it on a couple of days. Today could be one of those days that we, uh, that, we, that we reach that level of profit, but probably not, to be honest. Probably not. Ah, either way, that's, uh, that's okay. Anyway, what was I saying? I was saying something about something. In fact, I think, hold up. Yeah, no, it's fine. Um, ho hospital insurance, I, I think we actually might, I think we might actually do it today, if I'm not mistaken. No, apparently not. A terrible article about your facility in a local tabloid causes 20% of people to go to a different hospital. And another patient died? What the heck is happening? And the fact that it happened three minutes after midnight is is really irritating because that's going to mean that we're not going to get uh, we're not going to get a couple of these done for an extra day, if at all. I mean, flipping heck, it's 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 challenging in the best of, in the best of times to to survive without uh, without a patient dying. I just built more beds in the internal medicine department, didn't I? I mean, let's put you into the ICU. I don't want to put you into the ICU, but let's put you into the ICU. Sure, you've got pneumonia which is pretty awful. You've got uh, respiratory failure and another person. Okay, wow. I didn't realize that we had... I didn't realize that we had a, a widespread issue with HDU units in the uh, in the internal medicine department. Okay, you know what? I'm going to hospitalize people at the ICU department. The reason that I'm going to do this is, is, is bad. It is flawed. It's not something that you should do at home. Do not Do not try this at home, kids. This is not something to do. The reason that it's not something to do is because we are filling up, we are filling up beds that are worth about as, about three times as much, about three times as much. The good news is though, the good news is, Margaret Anderson, you're collapsing. It's okay. You're actually already in the ICU. You're actually already in the ICU, so that is completely fine. Hospitalized and treated, fine. <laughs> Great. There's no better. There's no better place to collapse. Now. Part of the problem with putting people in the ICU, as I've already said, is it's a much more expensive bed, and uh, there is almost no way that we are going to have enough beds for all of the serious cases. Long wait for examination. I'm sure that that's I'm sure that that's something that we can recover from in just a second. Either way, with 64 patients, I'm I'm pretty convinced that we're going to be in a good place. Uh, this you've got to sort of consider the lead time, the patient lead time. So a patient comes in on the first day, probably gets treated. Uh, they might stick around for a day, maybe two days. So we're sort of still getting that big, that big day out of our system. I guess it sh it sort of, uh, sort of shows exactly why you shouldn't over overfill your hospital with patients. Patient is collapsing. That's okay. Right. Keep up the good work, everyone. Keep up the good work. I'm real happy with this. Real, real happy with this. So far, so good. Collapsed patient is waiting for a bed. I mean, look, today's already a write-off anyway, given that we already had a death three minutes past... Three minutes past the hour. Patient with an incorrect diagnosis returns. Shockingly? I mean, that's very surprising, actually. Is level of certainty high? We can't have certainty at the pathology department. Yeah, certainty is high on absolutely every... 
At absolutely every department here. Yeah. I mean, okay. That's fine. I guess um, profitability-wise, yep, yeah, we're looking profitable. Let's hope that let's hope that that remains the case throughout the day. Wonderful. Specialization doesn't really matter for us for all intents and purposes. Autopsy has been finished. What was the issue? We know that it was a tension something something or other. Right, Fraser Thomas, you are the gentleman that died and ended up causing a, a big old problem. Also, something else that I should say. There were a lot of comments about the fact that I've got absolutely hideous walls outside the hospital. I mean, look, I don't I don't necessarily disagree with you. Although I've got to be honest, it's sort of growing on me. It's sort of growing on me having all of these hideous, 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 hideous walls on the outside. It it kind of looks bare bones. And you know, the red bits as well, they sort of they look hospitally, don't they? I feel like maybe they do. Maybe that's just me though. Uh internal medicine, by the way. Internal medicine could very well, could very well end up netting us a fairly significant amount of cash today. We do have to, we do have to, what, reach 5,000 daily profit at internal medicine. What is that going to net us, by the way? Prestige bonus of 20% for two days? Oh, that is so perfect. If we get a prestige bonus of 20% for two days, then that will almost certainly take us above 98%, which will allow us to, which will allow us to get the shareholders on board, right? If I'm not mistaken, that is exactly that is exactly our game plan here. That is exactly our game plan. Uh, I did talk about perhaps getting some more ambulances turned on, but as it turns out, that was that was a bit daft. Uh, I think two ambulances, each taking five patients to the hospital per day, is is plenty as it stands. Yeah, twenty percent of patients going to a different hospital. I see that as an opportunity. I, I really do see that as an opportunity. That is uh, that is definitely a good thing. Definitely a good thing. Right, how's the radiology department looking? I want to have a quick little evaluation. Workload during the day is critical. Workload during the day is low, fine, low. Critical during the day. Low during the day, okay, cool. So that presumably means that these cardiography units actually worked, which is good. Let's have a little look at the medical lab situation as well just to sort of see what the issue is here. There we go. Yeah, you know what? Four, one, two, three patients all waiting for test results. That is, that is very respectable. Very, very respectable. As long as, in my mind, as long as it's under like four, as long as it's under four people waiting, then, then that is like amazing. The reason that I say four is because each of these labs, with the exception of this lab here, which has six, has got four members of staff working uh, in the room. So that means if everyone is processing a single person, then we'll be able to cure the backlog or be able to, you know, destroy the backlog of, uh, of, of patients that are waiting for a test result fairly quickly. All right. I mean, look, 30 grand, 30 grand profit before, before staff salaries are taken out. That is nothing to sniff at. That is nothing to sniff at at all. It's a likelihood that we will probably be able to make 5,000 in... Internal medicine salary or internal medicine profit at the end of today. If this is above 5,000, then that is going to be great. Please, please, please. Hey, it absolutely is. Brilliant to see. So that looks like that looks like we're going to be heading for a uh, for a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful amount of prestige tomorrow because we're not going to get the 5,000 daily profit at the internal medicine department until the end of today. So until the close of play in about three hours, which I can skip forward to. Uh, and then the 20% bonus is going to head our way tomorrow, so that is going to be fine. Uh, what's up? You're you're waiting for a free operating room? I'm sure that, to be honest, that is going to be that is going to be happening pretty soon. Do we have a, an evening surgery team? I think we do have an evening surgery team, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we've got an evening surgery team. Let's find out what you're doing. You're filling your needs. Why is that the case? Abdominal surgery, uh, waiting for a free operating room. Okay, that's because we just have too many, have too many, too many ops to, to go through. But that's fine. Okay, what's our prestige sort of natively? It's about 82%. It's about 82%. It would be better if people didn't keep dying at the ICU, which is not their fault. It's my fault. You know, don't get me wrong. I appreciate that. I, I, I really do. I really do. However, the good news is, is that we've got a game plan. We've got a game plan. We've got a situation. 
Right, a couple of employees that are drunk. 5,000 daily profit at internal medicine. Prestige bonus, 20% for two days. Open an orthopedic clinic, 25,000 government grant. Wonderful, treat two patients per day at orthopedic department. Next two interns available for hire will be great candidates. Enable hospitalization at orthopedic department, a $30,000 grant. Uh, uh, four patients per day at orthopedics, a $25,000 government grant. Patient numbers are back to normal. Excellent. I mean, that was absolutely fantastic. I mean, you couldn't really have asked for a... Uh, for a better series of uh, for a better series of insurance company unlocks, even though things are still you know things are still good, there's still activity in the insurance department. Um, it doesn't feel like it's sort of broken. It doesn't feel like it's broken. Progressive, we need to build a third ambulance for them now, uh, in order to make them happy. That's fine. That is fine. Okay, so let's hope for no deaths. Let's hope for no untreated patients or whatever. Eighty-one patients coming into the hospital today. I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. I feel like if in doubt, I should just like take the foot off, take my foot off the gas a little bit. Progressive. I feel like I feel like we should just stop. I feel like we should just stop progressive. Yeah. Stop. Stop progressive. Uh, and that'll take us back down to to fifty. Patient waited too long and is leaving. Did you seriously just wait in the? Uh, you were waiting for an X-ray, weren't you? Yeah. Hmm. Well, you know what? That's that's a pain in the backside. That's a real pain in the backside because radiology radiology rooms are super 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 expensive to uh, to build. Hospitalized waiting for a treatment room. What are you waiting for? EMS is done in what room? Diagnostic unit. It's done in the diagnostic unit, so why the heck is that not being done quickly? And why is everything being done in the dark for some obscene reason? Is it, a, is it a shortage of nurses? No, it's not a shortage of nurses. It's just the fact that we need more rooms. We just need more, we just need more of these rooms, you know? That's it. That's literally it. That is literally it. Okay, let me have a quick little look at all of the different departments to see if there are any, to see if there are any dirty floor. Okay, so dirty floor at infectious diseases, that can be addressed for sure. Need critical no, fine. Ugly environment. No, don't want to deal with that at this moment in time. Uh, ICU's got a dirty floor. Okay, so there are a lot of dirty floors, pretty much, pretty much everywhere. Okay, let's sort out. Let's sort out the most important departments in the first instance. This one, this one over here, the uh, the infectious diseases. Right, corridor. Is that where the dirty floor is? That looks like where the dirty floor is, to be honest. Yeah, it's pretty much exactly where it is. So again, we're just hunting for those little extra bits of prestige here. Extra, extra, extra bits of prestige. Okay, uh, emergency, emergency needs to be, needs to be zoned as well. We need slightly more, slightly more control over exactly what's happening. This, I don't think, is allocated as a corridor yet, so presumably that is, yeah, that is an absolute tip. Radiology, uh, radiology should not have any dirty floors anywhere. Patient that couldn't be treated is leaving? What? Oh, really? Knee dislocation? Oh, it's because you were... Okay, you should have been put into regular hospitalization, but instead I needed to put you manually into HDU hospitalization, but that didn't end up happening. I mean, look, that is what it is. As long as we're able to avoid uh, deaths, we should be on track for 98% prestige today, which would be really, really good. What department is this? It's a disaster of a department. That's 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 what it is. Uh, and it's time to get more more janitors. Let's hire the best of the best. The best of the best, please. Let's get them both. Get them both. Excellent. And get to work. Let's start cleaning because I guarantee cardiology, yeah, dirty floor at nine. So there are massive, massive, massive negative modifiers because the floors are just dirty. And can I make sure that all of the corridors are appropriately allocated? I think they are, to be honest. I absolutely think that they are. What else? Pathology? I think we actually... I think we were actually quite astute on the pathology front do i have a janitor yeah i've got a janitor there wonderful okay so you know what we should be able to get on top of this we should be able to get on top of this super duper quickly long wait for an examination ct scan has been you've been waiting for a ct scan for a little while don't even worry about it don't even worry about it i'm sure you'll be i'm sure you'll be seen very very soon indeed okay yeah, this is good. This is good. I'm very, very happy with this. We're getting a load of money. Load, a load, a load, a load, a load of money. Again, that prestige figure is oh so important. We've reached already 109%. So I think that that is... 
That is definitely a positive, a positive spin to throw on the day. I dare say that we may even be able to pay back what, a good 40 grand of debt here? Which is very, very exciting. Uh, we're still, by the way, capped at 80, uh, 89% patient intake, which I'm hoping is going to be uncapped by the, uh, by the start of tomorrow. I'm hoping that that's going to be uncapped at the start of tomorrow. Certainly, I think that, you know, this is a, a large enough amount of cash. We've certainly got enough momentum in the day to hopefully... Uh, maintain a profit for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the day. It doesn't look like we've got any any patient issues at this moment in time. No clinic issues. No infectious diseases issues. I'm not saying that something terrible could easily happen, but uh, it feels good. It feels good. This feels this feels good. I feel happy with with uh, with where I am. We do still need an additional X-ray machine. You know, don't get me wrong. I I know that we need an additional X-ray machine. Workload during the day, critical. Workload during the night, critical as well. CT scan, workload during the day, critical. Workload during the day in the MRI room is critical. Yeah. Okay. So that's going to be the next stage. That's going to be the next stage, I think, is that we're going to need to try and... We're going to need to try and get ourselves a... A sort of localized... A localized... A localized... X-ray machine. Patient is collapsing got angina. Okay, you know what? Let's rush you. Let's rush you to the trauma center. And let's get you seen to immediately. Irregular heartbeat and heart failure. Heart failure is is the kicker, to be honest. The irregular heartbeat beat is uh, is also is also a bit of a kicker. Can you be treated with with nitrates from here? Can't be prescribed at this department. No worries. Let's move you up to the other department. In there. Brilliant. Hospitalized and transported to the HDU room. Brilliant. Leveling up specializations. Love to see it. Love to see it. We had a couple of patients leave. But that's okay. Well, actually, it's not okay. Because having no untreated patients for uh, for two days is kind of the mission objective here. Increase ambulance patients per day to three. Not really bothered about that. Even slightly, to be honest. But it would be good to move past these absolutely garbage insurance objectives that for sure would be lovely 103 percent prestige we are at the moment touch wood on course for uh for the full the full shebang oh you are definitely dead oh you are almost certainly dead brooke miller i'm not being negative but i am being negative you've leveled up congratulations checked by a nurse you're not collapsing anymore which is good Undergoing stabilization. Okay. Oh my god. I I knew it. I knew it. As soon as I said, as soon as I said that you had an issue, knew that something had to happen. Alright, so that just absolutely torpedoes. That absolutely torpedoes the happiness uh in the in the in the ICU. Okay, where's the dirty floor? Where the heck is the dirty floor? Do I have Do I have a cleaning staff in the ICU? Is that perhaps what the problem is here? All right, here's what we do. Here's what we do. We fix this. We fix this real quick. Building a little mini corridor up here. Yeah. Prefab. ICU. Cleaning closet. Right in there. Excellent. Back to walls. Build walls up. Knock this wall. Not that wall. Knock this wall down. Good stuff. We're still cash positive, which is fine. And then we just hire the best of the best. The best janitorial staff that this hospital has ever seen. Literally, day and night. Well, actually, nighttime we can just hire slightly less qualified people. Uh, but daytime staff, seriously, we're going to get some fantastic daytime staff. I have absolutely no idea where the dirty tiles are. Presumably in the common room and stuff. If we can just get across the line, if we can just improve the intensive care unit just by a little bit. 13 dirty floor. I presume that that's 13 dirty floor tiles, or it's 13 people that think the floor is dirty. I don't actually know. Look at that. Okay, so it's reduced to 6, so that's actually positive. So that should mean that our prestige increased. Either way, the fact that there was death is a big deal. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, the night staff has just come online, which is fine. Uh, we should see, hopefully, 
we should see hopefully that prestige number get built back up but for some obscene reason cardio uh, cardiology is still is still showing a a poor amount of prestige there why the heck why the heck uh, is nobody is nobody cleaning okay you know what i'm going to have to take i'm going to have to take action on this front i i need i need my cardiology department to to step up i, I need them to step up i have to get them to step up all right give me some more shelves you know what just in the middle of the room that's fine we can we can do that that in there uh fine you know what just one one shelf is going to have to do and get some super super duper effective cleaning staff please as quickly as you'd like wonderful all right so let's 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 get to work on let's get to work on cleaning up this department apparently this department has just been neglected for the longest time i don't know why Autopsy's finished. I mean, we know we know what you died of. You died of heart failure. That's that sucks. That sucks. But you know what? At least our prestige is on course for ninety eight percent, which is the main thing. A little bit of tidying up here and there should sort things out. The corridors are all allocated properly. It's literally just that we've got so many staff in here, and it's such a busy such a busy area. Something that we should pay attention to a little bit more than I do is probably like the dirt in the rooms. That was what was happening in the uh, in the ICU. That was what the issue was there. There were just there was just too much dirt in the in the floor of the ICU. Anyway, it looks like we're going to finish today with about 111% prestige unless a patient decides to die. Like right now, I think we're across the line. You hear that? You hear that chime that says you've completed an insurance objective and and you just think, "Oh boy, that's such great news." Reach 98% prestige at the end of the day. Increase patients per day to two. Now, this is not the end of the story. This is not the end of the story. So first of all, we need to we need to have a little look at the at the insurance and prestige numbers. So, this is great. Patient patient intake is going to be set at 105%, which I'm pretty certain that this this number is fine. I'm I'm okay with 90 or 61 patients, should I say? Uh, the insurance payment is 120%, which means that we're going to receive 100%, 120% on liver TY, 170% on over cure ink, 135% on uh, on oopsie ink, and 300% uh, for the uh, for the shareholders here. So this is important. We've got two people coming in from the shareholder uh, on the shareholder insurance company now. If if for whatever reason, if for whatever reason our prestige drops, which it no doubt will, it no doubt will drop at some point, then we could very well see these two these two shareholders just completely disappear. So we want to make sure that we keep our prestige as high as possible going forward because otherwise we ain't going to be treating patients that are paying us, uh, paying us big money. It's going to be a lot more challenging. Anyway, folks, on that note, we're going to wrap this episode of Project Hospital with the Infectious Diseases DLC. Uh, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you very, very much for watching. Thanks as ever to the fantastic Patreon supporters over at patreon.com forward slash little bit of potato. I feel like I've been saying this a little bit more recently, but all of the support over there has been tremendously fantastic. And uh, I'm really very, very fortunate to have such a fantastic community as as you guys. So, you know, keep the comments coming. Check out the Patreon if indeed you're interested in exclusive content. Thanks as ever to Banana Nanana and C Senpai for being the $225 plus tier patrons. I'll see you next time. Bye.